Hello everyone and welcome to another game I played on PTCGO. For this match I'm going to be playing with Gothadel Mew Excelgore, or Gothlock as you guys may know it. A deck that I've tried playing in the past but due to glitches I haven't been able to get to work. As you can see my opponent was favored to win this matchup. I'm going to start off with a mulligan so my opponent will get to draw that extra card. Then I will put a Shelmet up front and a Gothita on the bench. My opponent starts off with a Keldeo and a Black Chiram, so I know he's playing uh, Blastoise. Um, he leads off with an N right off the bat. And the hand I get in return um, fortunately has a supporter, but un unfortunately I don't really want to play it. Uh, I would have to Juniper away um, <laughs> some of my important evolutions here, four of them, so I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to end my turn. But fortunately my opponent ends me. He puts down a Keldeo and two Squirtles on the bench. So that's a little bit scary. I get another Shelmet and we'll play that on the bench. I get a level ball and we'll play it um, to thin my deck out and to hopefully get something moving on my bench. And here I think I'm actually going to take Gothita. I'm looking for it here. And I do find it, so or Gotharita. And I'll put it down, but first I'm going to evolve into a Selgore, attach a DCE, and I will Skyla for a Chorus, I believe, in case my opponent wants to put down more Pokemon that may discourage him from doing so. And I will just deck and cover for 100, and paralyze and confuse, or paralyze and poison. And it thinks of your bank being in play, he takes the extra 30 damage in between turns. He puts down another. Squirtle, he himself plays a chorus and draws six cards. He's going to rush in and rush back in in order to clear the poison. And it doesn't look like Blastoise will come into play this turn, but I don't really have much on my side of the field. And I'm sort of scared right now because if he can get um, any of his Keldeos or Black Hiram powered up, he can just steamroll my side of the field since he can. He has the advantage of being able to uh, get out of uh, paralysis uh, due to Keldeo's rush in. So here I'm going to play that Ultra Ball I just drew and, and bring out something here. I think I'm going to bring out Gothitelle finally so I can have the lock in play. I still need a Float Stone to make this work and I happen to draw it. So I will play that Float Stone on Gothitelle. Um, play an Ultra Ball here, getting rid of a rare candy, and a tool scrapper. So I'm making uh, fairly painful discards here, and I've been only faced with uh, cards I don't really want to discard thus far. Uh, just to bring out Excel Gore here, so I can put it in the active spot. Ideally I'd be doing this with Mew, but I don't have Mew out yet. Um, but with uh, Excel Gore I do double the damage, and thanks to Veerbank, uh, I can do 130 to a Keldeo, and that's enough to knock his Keldeo out. And I take uh, the prize lead here with two prizes, but I'm down to Gothitelle. So if he can get out of Blastoise, uh, he can knock me out here with Black Ballista since he sends out Black Chiram. Uh, he plays a Juniper and just slashes me, but he does knock out my Veerbank with a Beach. So fortunately, I survived that turn, but I'm not in a great position, so I'm going to just retreat. Uh, send up a Gothita and just use his beach since I have nothing much going on my side of the field. So my opponent now is going to attach to Keldeo. He's just going to slash and knock out my Pokemon. Fortunately, I draw a few more things on my turn. So I'm going to uh, bench a Mew, bench a Duskull. We'll play an Ultra Ball here. Hopefully, to start getting other things into play. We'll discard an Ultra Ball and a Skyla, I believe. Again, not discards I want to be making quite right now. But at least I'm not discarding Pokemon this time around. So I will take out a Shelmet, put it down on the bench. I attach a DCE onto Mew. And hopefully I can get hit in a Selgor in my next turn. But I will retreat my Gothitelle. I don't really want to give him the opportunity to knock it out since he only needs one more energy card. It doesn't matter that he can't use items, he just needs to manually attach. Uh, but uh, he does get a rare candy blast toy, so it might have been 
worth sacrificing Gothitelle for that. I don't know in the long term, in the long run, if that would have made a difference. But in He's able to knock out my Dust Skull, and he has a Blastoise. I send out Gothitelle this time around. I get a Dowsing Machine. I'm going to discard here a Shelmet and a Floatstone in order to bring back here a Supporter card. I'm not sure what to bring back. Um, I could knock out his Tropical Beach. I could go for a a Chorus here, which I think is the best bet since it would draw me the most cards. Or I could go for an Ultra Ball to guarantee something for next turn since I don't have enough to discard. I decided to go for Chorus here. I managed to get an, an Asogor, another Mew, and here I can not, I can actually deck and cover. So I will retreat into Mew, I will deck and cover, and hopefully. I will start to whittle away at his side of the field since he can just rush in and retreat or rush in and rush back in to get out of poison and paralysis. So I'm going to deck and covers and I'm got to tell, prevent the trainers from being used. But Blastoise is in play, but fortunately, Gothitelle will prevent a superior energy retrieval from being played. So hopefully that'll slow down his energy acceleration since he can only get it from the hand. And uh, Blastoise doesn't normally have a, a Silent to work with in that regards. So my opponent is going to Skyla here. Uh, maybe he has a Catcher, maybe he has an Escape Rope to try to get out of this. If not, I'm not sure with the card he'd be going for right now. And he's still searching for it. So he actually goes for a Floatstone. So he can't play it yet, but he rushes in with another Keldeo. I get another Mew. Here I'm debating whether or not to play the Escape Rope. And also whether or not to play Juniper or Chorus. I decide to play that Escape Rope to see what he sends up and to thin out my hand. He sends out Squirtle. I'm going to send out Mew. And here I'm going to actually play the Chorus. Again, I didn't want to discard those evolutions. But I managed to get a DCE another Shelmet, which I'll, I don't think I'll bench now actually, and a Veer Bank, so I get to knock out his uh, Beach, which was kind of helping me, but with this I can actually use Deck and Cover and knock out that Squirtle due to poison damage. So that's another prize for me, and I'm back in the lead. So now Squirtle's poisoned, I'm going to send up uh, Gothitelle just to prevent items. I'm hesitating here just because I know if, if he attaches one more to Black Hiram, uh, got to tell his history, but I decided to send it up anyway. And that will take a prize, and it's an escape rope. So my opponent's going to play a Skyla here and get another Tropical Beach. So that is a card he can play, and he does. He's going to slash here for 60. Fortunately, he did not draw another water energy. I get another DCE, and I get it. Um, this time I will play down Shelmet. I think I'm just going to retreat Gothitelle and deck and cover, but I might play that escape rope. I am debating doing that. Just trying to look through my discard pile to see whether or not I should uh, play Juniper as well. Again, it's a tough call here, but I think this time I actually do end up playing it, so I'm going to Juniper away quite a few things there that may have been useful. But I do get another Gothita and put it on the bench. Here I'm going to just get an Acelgor out into play or get another one in my hand with level ball, retreat into Mew, and once again deck and cover with Versatile. I won't be able to knock out Black Chiram, but hopefully this damage will accumulate fast enough. I send up Gothitelle. My opponent then plays a Juniper. He's obviously going to rush in. And now he has enough energy on Keldeo, and he just rushes in for the knockout. Here, I have to send out a Selgor, since I don't know if I can get out uh, Gothitelle. I managed to evolve into another Selgor. I attach a Floatstone off the Goth Gothita. And I'm just going to play Juniper. And fortunately, I do get a rare candy. Gothitelle. So now 
I have what I need, but unfortunately, Esselgor is inactive, so I have no choice but to attach the DCE onto it, since I can't switch out, and I will just deck and cover and use it instead of Mew. And that has a fortunate effect of being able to double damage, since uh, Keldeo is weak to it. But I will level ball here just to burn it and show me my hand, or my deck. Not much in there at this point. And I will hit him for 100. And send up, once again, a Selgor. So here I'm just hoping he has no more uh, energy in hand, so he won't be able to knock out Gothatel with a secret sword. But he is going to rush in here and rush back in and attach one up more energy. And with that, he can take out Gothatel. And my game is essentially over since I don't really have any other way of getting Gothatel out into play. So I send up a Selgor, going to attach a DCE onto it, play an N here just to try to slow him down. Maybe I can beat him by just drawing into a Selgors repeatedly, although the likelihood of winning that way is very slim. So we'll deck and cover here, paralyze and poison, and take the knockout here, hopefully. We'll send up Mew. We'll take two more prizes, but my opponent sends up Black Kyrum, which if he has one more energy in hand, he can knock out. So we see a Skyla, and if it's a superior energy retrieval, which it is, that means he can Black Ballista for 200 and his last two prizes. So it came down pretty close, but in the end, Gothitelic Selgor loses, and his worst matchup is always against uh, any deck that runs multiple Keldeos, and this is the deck that does that. So thank you guys for watching.